Hi, I'm Glenn, City of Island Fishing, field team, COAF field team. Today's Saturday, March 28th, and well, we've been tying up some flies again, trying to make some adjustments with the bass on bed fly, or bombtail fly, since we added the plume. And well, hmm, we came up with this one. Here's what it looks like wet. Ooh, we'll get some better pictures of it. All right, and basically it's a saddle hackle, white saddle hackle, that's uh, forming around the, the front end of the hook. We've got some lead wire to give it weight to hold it down. And then the rest of it is these plumes tied at the hook bend. And what that does is it'll sit definitely in this position and it's ready to get struck by a bass on the bed. So not sure what we'll call this one yet, but here's what it looks like wet. And here's some when it looks like dry. So we'll get some better pictures also. And then uh, we got, uh, and then we have um, uh, some underwater shots too. So check it out. And hopefully we can get out there sometime in the near future to uh, try it out in the field. All right, next time we'll catch you all then. Good luck and good fishing. All righty, we're gonna try a new uh, fly. We're gonna try um, making it so we can stand it up while it's sitting in the bed. So we did the bob fly or bobtail fly, two variants of it. Tied it on this O'Shaughnessy size two watt hook. And we're gonna make a little change this time because intent is we want the hook to ride straight up like this, or at least at this angle. We tried the uh, dumbbell here and that seemed to work, but it would flop over. So we'll just apply some lead uh, wire, have it just keep it this side down and then we'll apply the plumes up here on the hook bend to flutter and then on the shank thinking just using some saddle hackle and just making it real bushy um, and make it light so that we can see um, the bass take it or at least it disappear and we can set the hook so here goes all right so let's start off with uh, some lead just using some lead wire 0 0.020. We'll just break off a little piece. This one's about oh about three inches or so. We'll just get it started here. Nothing fancy. Just trying to keep the weight at the front or the head. Of the fly. All right, I'm just going to use olive dubbing or olive um, fly tying thread. Dacron, just to get things started. I'm just going to keep it simple because what we noticed is the bass tended to take the fly, um, and when we set the hook, sometimes we've had them on briefly, other times. Uh, we lose them, and we're thinking that we're just not getting a good hook set. Other times, uh, with that hook not riding as high as we'd like, we're running into those issues where we're pulling the uh, fly out of its mouth. All right, so let's just build that up, okay? And uh, the thought here is just to keep it simple, so we're going to keep it simple. So here's uh, some white saddle hackle. We'll just get uh, two plumes, we'll snip it off, looks like so, and we'll just start building a head here, there's one, and then let's go grab another, just do this one a little bit closer. All right, we'll just lock it in place. And then let's grab our hackle pliers and we'll just start out with one to get it started. We'll lock this one in place.
we're thinking of putting some chenille and whatnot to kind of lay as a base for the body but uh, changed our mind because we want it simple and basically want to make it as heavy as can be on the forward part of the fly so again we get it to ride up that's the whole intent get it to ride up so let's grab the other one get this one started all right and that's pretty much it for the body nice and bushy let's go ahead and uh, actually build a head here real quick Use the old wood finish tool. All right, we'll just clean up a little bit here. Nothing fancy, we're just making this one on the fly based on what we want the fly to do. So two saddle hackles kind of just thrown on there. Okay, and then we'll work on the plumes. So what we'll do is just flip it over, lock it in place, build a quick thread base right at the hook bend. Let's go ahead and just lock it in with a few more wraps. Okay, next up is what we'll start out with two plumes, marabou plumes, just to get the uh, things going. We'll kind of trim off the ends to make it a little bit easier to uh, tie. Right here we'll just kind of build a quick base for it. Tie it in. Alright, so there's the first piece. We'll grab a couple of more. Nice big bushy one here. Ooh. Again, this next one is just going to go right on top of that. If it makes it easier, we find that uh, if you wet it, that'll help uh, keep things under control as well. All right, we'll just kind of lock it in place with a couple of whip finishes. And that's it. Doesn't look like much, but we'll build a build up this body just a little bit more. Be easier to tie it in this manner. Okay. You probably could have went with a white. Um, thread here on the body portion but at this point we're just going to build up the transition to where the plumes went onto the hook shank okay let's go and finish it up with a couple half hitches and we'll lock it in place with some uv glue and i think we should be ready we'll tie a couple of more of these and then um and then we may have to test it out all right, I'm just going to build a little base around it. Okay, there it is. It'll flutter about and hopefully we get some good hookups. So it's not much. It's a simple fly tie, but um, this is mainly just to give visibility and also to keep it hooked down or hook the uh, hook eye down and the hook bend up and we'll have to take a look at it so wish luck okay here's a quick test of the no-name fly 
and you can see that uh, it sinks to the bottom, rides hook up, and we've got it weighted at the front end with a white saddle hackle, clearly seen in the water, and it kind of sits enticingly in place. So that the bass on the bed will maybe strike from its aggression as it sits there. Okay, so uh, here is that fly we were talking about. And then we're gonna go with the two weight, max catch, two weight, 10 foot, Orvis fly reel. See what happens. As it turned out, didn't get any strikes this round with the no-name fly, but we'll have to try it again later. Well then, if you like what we're doing, do like and subscribe. Maybe we'll be able to show you how we did with this fly.